Hello students, I welcome you all to Arrange Academy. So today we are going to start with the 12th chapter of class 6 CBAC science that is electricity and circuits. So students, we use electricity in almost all areas of our life to make our task simpler. In fact, electricity makes it possible to light our homes, offices, roads, markets and factories even after sunset. This helps us to continue working even at night. So there are some instances where we face power failure. In that case, we use torch. So where does the torch get electricity from? These all questions are answered in this chapter. In this particular lesson, you will study about electricity and the circuits through which it flows. And in this video, we are going to discuss NCERT questions and solutions for this lesson. So let's proceed. So question one. Before discussing this, I would request all the students who are watching us to please visit our website arrangeacademy.com. वहाँ से आपको सारे materials मिलेंगे अपने exams के लिए. In fact, आप वहाँ से NCERT solutions भी download कर सकते हैं for all your classes and for all the subjects. So coming back to question one, here we have fill in the blanks. So यहाँ पर basically two statements provided हैं. Each statement has one blank. So हमें statements read करना है and analyze करके जो blanks हैं उन्हें correctly fill करना है. So the first statement here is that a device that is used to break an electric circuit is called. So we all had seen switches in our home, right? So switches में कौन से दो configuration होते हैं? We know that a switch uh, can be kept in the on or in a off position that is switch on and switch off. So what do we mean by them? So when it is in switch on mode, you have completed the electrical circuit and allowing the electricity to flow. Whereas when you are keeping it in switch off mode, so in that case you are breaking the electrical circuit that is you are not allowing the electrical current to flow through it or uh, thus you can say that a device that is used to break an electrical circuit or even to complete an electrical circuit is called a switch all right moving to the next statement here we have an electric cell has dash terminals so here you need to write that how many terminals an electric cell has so you know that there are many electrical appliances that works on cells so while placing you must have observed that there are two terminals positive and negative right so an electrical or an electric cell has two terminals so here we are done with the question one let's move to the next question two mark true or false for following statements so students आपको यहाँ पे कुछ स्टेटमेंट्स प्रोवाइड किए जाएंगे। You need to carefully examine each of them and have to tell whether they are correct or not. All right. So let's see all the statements first. So here we have these three statements. Starting with the first, here we have that electric current can flow through metals. So, we know that metals are conductors and conductors can allow electricity or electric current to pass through them. You have seen that coppers and aluminiums are good conductors, right? They allow metals, uh, they are sorry, they are metals allowing current to flow. So, therefore, this is a correct statement. It's a true. Second, instead of metal wires, a jute string can be used to make a circuit. So here you know that a jute string, it's an insulator and an insulator does not allow electric current to flow through them. So thus we cannot replace metal wires by jute string because they cannot make a circuit, right? So this is incorrect. You cannot use jute string in place of metal wires. The third statement is that electric current can pass through a sheet of thermocol. 
सो अगेन यू नो दैट थर्माकोल क्या है बच्चों थर्माकोल इज एन इंसुलेटर एंड दस इट कैन नॉट अलाउ इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू पास थ्रू देम सो इट्स अगेन फॉल्स ओके सो ह्यूर वी आर डन विद सेकेंड क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन so here we have question 3 explain why the bulb would not glow in the arrangement shown in figure so yahan pe ek figure hai it's an uh, circuit so aapko batana hai that in this circuit why the bulb would not glow so here it's a battery a screw driver or you may say a tester an electric bulb and electric wires so let's see that why the bulb would not glow the handle of the screw driver or the tester is made from an insulator to avoid electric shocks so yahan pe ek screw driver ya tester hai right so ye jo handle hai you can see a colored red colored handle here so ye jo tester ya screw driver ka jo handle hai it is made out of an insulator so that Uh, the electrician can prevent them from getting an electric shock so this is an insulator whereas this part the part in the front it's an it's a conductor so one of the wires is connected to the insulator and the circuit is incomplete now you know that the circuit sh uh, should be connected through all conductors right we know that these wires are conductor the battery can allow the current to flow in fact this is the source for electricity as well as the bulb but whereas here in the case of tester this part is a conductor whereas this is an insulator which means that the circuit is not completed right so the circuit is incomplete since electricity does not flow through an insulator the circuit being incomplete will not Uh, allow the bulb to glow so the bulb would not glow in this case so we are done with this question let's move to the next one here we have question 4 complete the drawing shown in figure to indicate where the free ends of the two wires should be joined to make the bulb glow सो so, यहाँ पे आपको एक फिगर शोन है ठीक राइट सो इन दिस फिगर देर आर फ्यू कॉम्पोनेट्स एन इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल एन इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल वायर्स सो यहाँ पे हमें क्या दिया हुआ है क्वेश्चन में दैट दिस सर्किट इज नॉट कंप्लीटेड राइट सो इन दिस केस द बल्ब इज नॉट ग्लोइंग सो वी नीड टू कनेक्ट द फ्री एंड्स this end and this end these are the two free ends in the given circuit so hame in dono free ends ko uh, a particular form mein connect karna hai so that uh, the bulb would glow so we know that bulb glows when an electric current flows through the circuit now for allowing electric current to flow we need to connect the two terminals of the battery by the two terminals of the bulb so here you can see that this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal so the negative terminal is connected with the bulb whereas the positive terminal is not connected through the bulb so here the switch is closed so all we need to do is to connect these free ends so we connect this and uh, to the positive terminal of the battery or the cell and this and to the terminal which is free in the case of bulb now this would look something like this these are the two terminals positive and negative positive connected to the switch pin and the wire take it to the light bulb and one wire going from the negative terminal of the battery to the light bulb now since uh, the circuit is completed and the electric current is flowing the bulb would glow so we need to complete the circuit to make the bulb glow the following diagram shows the final arrangement so here we are done with the question 4 as well let's move to the next question so here we have question 5 what is the purpose of using an electric switch name some electrical gadgets that have switches built into them so yahan pe hame batana hai that electrical switch 
जो हम कॉमनली ही देखते हैं इन सर्किट्स एंड इन हाउस होल्ड अप्लाइंसेस सो उनका पर्पस क्या होता है एंड देन यू हैव टू नेम सम सच इलेक्ट्रिकल गैजेट्स और अप्लाइंसेस जहाँ पे बिल्ट इन स्विचेस ऑलरेडी प्रेजेंट है सो लेट्स सी योर ऑल राइट सो अ सिंपल डिवाइस यूज टू ब्रेक और कंप्लीट अ सर्किट इज कॉल्ड अ स्विच सो स्विच एक सिंपल डिवाइस है राइट सो विद दिस डिवाइस वी कैन आइदर ब्रेक द इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट और वी मे कंप्लीट द इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट ऑल राइट सो द पर्पज ऑफ यूजिंग अ स्विच इज टू अलाउ और स्टॉप द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्रू द सर्किट सो जो इलेक्ट्रिकल स्विच है सिंस वी नो दैट उनके दो कॉन्फिग्रेशन है द स्विच ऑन एंड द स्विच ऑफ पोजिशन सो वेन यू हैव कैप्ट इट इन द स्विच ऑन पोजिशन यू आर अलाउविंग द इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट टू फ्लो वेर इज इन दर केस यू हैव स्टॉप द फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी थ्रू द सर्किट सो दिस इज द पर्पज ऑफ यूजिंग द स्विच to simply allow or to stop the flow of electric current in the circuit now some electrical gadgets now here we name give to uh, gives the names of some electrical gadgets where we see uh, the built in switches so here some examples are food processors we had seen that food processors that we use in our household kitchen so in that case they have switches also torches right so torches also have switch some toys some electrical toys also have switches monitors right so computer monitors the cell phones again we know that we can uh, the switch it on or we can switch off the cell phone and there are so many so you can name any of uh, such appliances where you may find electrical switches being present so we are done with the question 5 moving to the next one question 6 would the bulb glow after completing the circuit shown in figure if instead of safety pin we use an eraser so we can see an electrical circuit here so we are asked that agar humne yahan pe safety pin ko रिप्लेस कर दिया बाय एन इरेजर सो क्या बल्ब ग्लो करेगा या फिर नहीं सो वी नीड टू टेल दिस सो ह्यो यू शुड नो दैट इरेजर इज एन इंसुलेटर दिस इज द पॉइंट ह्यो दैट इरेजर अनलाइक सेफ्टी पिन विच इज कंडक्टर इरेजर ह्योर इज एन इंसुलेटर सो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी कैन नॉट फ्लो थ्रू एन इंसुलेटर अगेन यू नो दैट कंडक्टर से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पास करते हैं एंड इन इंसुलेटर्स electric currents does not flow so hence if we replace the safety pin with an eraser the bulb will not glow simply because agar humne yahan pe insulator place kar diya so electrical circuit will not be completed and so the current would not flow and therefore the bulb would not glow so thus you cannot replace safety pin by an eraser so we are done with question 6 so, uh, so moving to the question 7 The question says, would the bulb glow in the circuit shown in figure? So here you have a circuit. So carefully examine, carefully observe the circuit and tell that whether the bulb would glow or not. All right. So here the answer is no. The bulb in the given circuit will not glow because the circuit is not complete. So यहाँ पे आपको देखो क्या observe करना है that uh, we know that electrical circuits are completed when the two terminals or the two ends of the cell are connected to the two terminals of the bulb whereas here try to observe these two terminals coming out from the cell these are going to the same terminal of the bulb that is the terminal which is one of the terminal of the bulb is at the bottom so no wire is connected to the bottom whereas both the terminals coming from the cell is connected to the same terminal of the bulb so therefore the circuit is not in the desired configuration it is equivalent to a circuit which is incomplete so therefore the electric current would not flow and hence the bulb will not be glowing so one of the wires should be connected to the another terminal of the bulb so in this case the bulb is not glowing the answer is no
Question 8. Using the conduction tester on an object, it was found that the bulb begins to glow. Is that object a conductor or an insulator? Explain. So, here we have a device used called conduction tester, which is also shown in this image. So, a conduction tester, a uh, particular connection. Hai. Uh, in this tester, there are two free ends, right? And there will be an LED bulb. So, हम यहाँ पे क्या करते हैं? We uh, touch these two ends of the conduction tester to the object that we need to test. So, अगर यहाँ पे bulb glow करता है, so that means the object uh, with which we have connected these two ends, it is a conductor. Whereas if the bulb does not glow, it is an insulator. So, यहाँ पे हमें क्या दिया हुआ है? That we have used a conduction tester and have found that the bulb glows so that means that we have used a conductor so the object is a conductor because the bulb glows only when the conductor is used but not when the insulator is used all right so moving to the next question question 9 why should an electrician use rubber gloves while repairing an electric switch at your home explain so we all had seen electricians working so we know that when they are working on electrical circuitry so they used to wear uh, rubber gloves here it is also been shown in the image so why do they do this while repairing any electrical switch at our homes so we need to explain this so human body is a good conductor of electricity so jo hum, humari human body hai we know that it is a good conductor of electricity and therefore a uh, human can get an electric shock to protect himself from getting an electric shock the electrician should use rubber gloves while repairing electrical switches as rubber is an insulator so agar humne rubber gloves wear kar rakha hai so uh, our body is not directly in touch with these wires so uh, rubber now is an insulator so you can see that this that the wires cannot directly come in contact with the human body and thus can prevent us from getting an electric shock so therefore it is suggested to wear rubber gloves while working anywhere on electrical devices or electrical switches so moving to the next question Question 10. The handles of the tools like screwdrivers and pliers used by electricians for repair work usually have plastic or rubber covers on them. Can you explain why? So we had seen that uh, screwdrivers and pliers, unke jo handles hote hain, so they are made out of plastic or rubber. So why do electricians use such handles? tools for working on electrical appliances or for any kind of electrical repair that has to be made so we need to explain this so tools like screwdrivers and pliers used by electricians for repair work usually have plastic or rubber covers because plastic and rubber are insulators again the same thing so why unke handles q uh, plastic or rubber ke banaye jate hain because uh, these two substances uh, are insulators that is they do not allow electric current to flow so agar electrician ne in tools ko hold kar rakha hai so they are not in uh, touch with the uh, electrical uh, repair work directly and hence they can prevent themselves from getting shock so handles made out of them protect the electrician from getting electric shocks so this is it we are done with the question 10 so thank you students for being with us all throughout this lesson subscribe to our Ranger academy on youtube for more such videos aap hamare site ko bhi visit kar sakte hain arrangeacademy.com wahan aapko aur bhi details milenge in fact wahan pe aap ncert solutions download kar sakte hain for all your classes and for all the subjects so as to ace in your exams keep learning keep growing thank you